seems like daytime to me, dog. Yeah, it's 5.30 in the morning. We're in my hometown, Sjöleftö. And it's time to go to Finland. <laughs> we gotta start filming things at some point, huh? I would say this is when the trip is actually starting. Yeah. Now it starts. Nobody wants to see me flying through 19 airports <laughs> to get here. Gotta import one of these so I can ri do vintage races. Yeah. The one they choose, they actually run really good. Really? Like, yeah. They run too fast. Probably faster than the sleds we ride. Yeah, yeah. they do. Who's this guy? Good morning. Thanks for driving me around today. <laughs> this morning. You're welcome. <laughs> supposed to do a video. God damn it. Ah, oh, I left the camera in the United States. That's yep. tragic. Maybe my microphone wasn't so big it would fit right here. How's that angle? Good morning. We're in Finland now, right? Yep. Just got there. I have no I I don't know where I'm at. Andreas is probably lost as well. Yeah. We're following this big log truck. What was that movie? Uh, Final Destination? Vibes? Anybody? Anyways, beyond the point. Flew in yesterday, like 150 hours of travel. It felt like Andreas knows about it. He came to the States twice this year, so he's... Uh, I know the trip. He knows the trip. It's quite hard. It's long. To be honest. He picked me up, we had dinner, and now we've been on the road for a few hours today. We're headed to the factory, the Lynx Lynch factory, factory headquarters. Uh, we're gonna go see what, what it's all about. Andres has been there a bunch, so he, he already knows what's what's in store, but uh, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, we, I don't know. I'm just here to have a good time. That's really it. And then we're gonna go ride this week. Get twisted. Ties close, I whittled them down. Stick it to them by sticking around. A gang online, Iwo Jima got one flag and a stick in the ground. Setting up shop. I'm just gonna commentate all week. You guys know me. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna jump off my sled yeah. onto the ground. We talked about this. I'm gonna be the camera guy and you're gonna be a jumper. Okay. We're turning over a new leaf. Andreas is the camera guy and I'm the jumper. Yeah. But it kind of feels like we're not going the right way. I feel like done this mistake before so if we don't turn right up here it's we're going the wrong way nice Raskan Kalusten Varausa don't know what he just said but me neither I don't know if I should learn Swedish Finnish Spanish French or just better English <laughs> better English yeah, start, <laughs> start with English okay <laughs> we made it to headquarters the yeah. factory this is a no drone zone by the way so now you are far from home, bro. We're far from home, dude. This is like off-road <laughs> in Finland. Yo! <laughs> Give me that, dude. <laughs> Suzuki Samurai, we are not in Kansas anymore. I've actually never been to Kansas, but we are not in America. Roscoe, hey, welcome. good to see you. Thank you. Hey, Doc. Fastest boy. Fastest <laughs> <laughs> boy. <laughs> We're going for the graveyard shift. Did you know your snowmobile was built by us three? <laughs> Guess what? It doesn't have warranty either. Once after we touch it, it's done. <laughs> Hand built. <laughs> okay, and then uh, it will be. We will go to uh, Rimetti. They told Andreas and I we couldn't build them. We're not allowed to touch anything here. Follow the rules. Follow the rules. <laughs> they also said. They also said no camera in here. Rolls. Yeah, they also said no cameras, so follow the rules and no cameras. <laughs> ah. Two things we don't know nothing about. Just uh, finished a quick tour of the production plant here where all of the Lynx snowmobiles get made with uh, this crew. We got to hit the floor and walk. It was pretty sweet. So uh, we have more to do, I guess. So I don't know. I'm going to destroy it. Hey, what's yeah. up? They let, yeah, they, they didn't let us touch anything. <laughs> no. Holly, do you know where we're going? What? Do you know where we're going? Yeah, I know where we are. <laughs> he knows where we are. This is 
important sled because this is actually the beginning of Lynx uh, uh, sports sleds. Yeah. And uh, oh. and iron <laughs> steel. <laughs> The PPS, then this was doesn't have the PPS, no. but it was it was because Pauli started first with this one. Yeah. He came to the factory with yeah. an idea that let's start racing with Lynx. Yeah. And he was interested to start building a race lab. Yeah, and to develop it. Yeah. And yeah. then when Pauli started racing, the, there was a lot of uh, let's say discussion that no 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 you cannot laugh and ride in the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it's too Full fun. Shit. So so it's. It should be like uh, more uh, serious and, and worker oriented, but because of the success and because guys actually started doing this on the weekends and oh, evenings, yeah. and they were not there, there was people on the project and they were not paid. They were doing this by their own time because everybody on, the, yeah. on that team was so excited that let's do this. And yeah. It was uh, how it started. Like uh, you cannot participate in race uh, if you are not 100% sure that you can compete against the other brands. And uh, Janne's father had to make a promise, and he promised to uh, CEO, we will we will put the guys in the pieces. And uh, the first race doesn't start very very good. Pauli, you actually tipped over in first corner. Where still you were still uh, able to win that. Race. Then in the first corner, Paulo crashed and was was la dead last on, on, on the first corner. And he, he picked your gear and cleaned your goggles and put your clothes and uh, started riding. And after the the heat was over, Paulo won the the first heat. And there were, in the Finnish championships, there was only always two heats: the first heat and the second heat. The the story goes so also that uh, <clears throat> in Kemiari, where the the race was held. There was, uh, of course, people came with the snowmobiles to see the race, and there was all brand snowmobiles. But the guys with Lynx, they were in that time a little bit impressed, impressed uh, of their uh, sled because it was like a old fashioned <laughs> utility sled and yeah. not fancy at all. So they left them on the on the behind the trees on the kind of <laughs> on the forest side and walked on the to the track to see the race. Yeah. But after the first. Uh, heat when Pauli won with Lynx, they started to crawl from the forest <laughs> closer to the racetrack. And, uh, and uh, yeah. after the second heat when Pauli won the game, they were like, Yeah, yeah, everybody. <laughs> In mentally, for sure, for everybody, that, that was kind of a, a a really really important moment yeah. to show that uh, in, in Lynx there was people who were able to uh, make such a race lead which which can win races uh, against the other brands, and also that. Uh, that this is this is actually what people want to have. That they want to do more sporty kind of riding, and uh, that's how GLS started. Yeah. Ten years ago, it happened. So Pauli was asked to ride this sled on the Mantuvara snowcross track. And of course nowadays and 10 years ago still it was a lot of jumps and moguls and stuff. Pauli took, let's say, I, I think it was like half lap you took it a little bit kind of easier. And then you started go flat out and I was looking like, wow, he's jumping and he's <laughs> going. The, the snow was flying forward and on the sides and on the back. So it was really, really uh, high speed and rough riding. The thing I know that you were going the fastest ever with this sled on the racetrack. I know it from the point because in, in one, after one big jump, when you landed, the engine said like, brrrr. <laughs> and I knew what happened because I know that noise uh, from, from my previous years. You dropped the carburetors. <laughs> <laughs> that happened, that didn't happen back in the 80s. Yeah, it didn't happen back in the 80s. 30 years so, later, yeah. he's faster yeah. than ever. So, that's, so that's imagine the... how fast he is today. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's, that's the proof. Yo. Yo, update. We just finished. Uh, we just finished a tour of the factory. Polly was there. He shared uh, some stories of the good old days and how if he wouldn't, we've decided. We had a little meeting and we decided that 
if he didn't win those two races in the early days, none of us would have been there having that conversation. No. Links would have lived. L- Links would that. not have lived on if he wouldn't have won those two like first races. And he fell off in the first corner of the first heat. Now we're gonna go check into the hotel. And then I'm gonna sauna, so this is the last word you'll ever hear from me after the oh, I'm gonna go get absolutely destroyed, I'll die. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to dinner, I guess. Do American people even know what sauna is? But no. I mean, they think they do. There's like four of them that do. <laughs> yeah. So, great. And then we're gonna drink some water. A lot of water. Yeah. Stay dehydrated. And beer. What? What is? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what water is anymore. Hair like that, it's good. Yeah. It's science. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning. Gonna see you when the sun goes down. I couldn't read it for crying, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I couldn't read it for crying boy Hey, hey, honey I couldn't read it for crying boy Yo! Yo! Hey Ross We made it, Rick Stranson It's uh... Sunday? I don't even know dude, I'm all messed up but uh we spent the last few days on the road traveling and now we're finally here I never know what anybody's saying. Are we going now? We didn't, you guys didn't do too bad this morning, huh? They would. Did we get the... We got, we got some shots, I think. Hope so. Try to catch me on the night to move. How do you feel about your performance out there? Is it Ross approved? I mean, yeah, for sure. We got some absolute bangers. That I'm satisfied. I would say it was low quality. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no low... Ca- no campfire. <laughs> no, like, hot sandwiches. No burgers. Like, no great fika. <laughs> Nothing like that. We've, like, been riding all day. That's it. Have I got in your attention? I surrender everything Like a shadow in the dark you cannot see Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, I hit it first. Never hit anything like this in my life ever. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh! 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 <laughs> That's good, guys. I'm not gonna die. Don't worry. You won. That you get to go. No, first. that means I get to choose, and you're going first. <laughs> I don't know how this Swedish logic works, but. That's where we are right now. In the middle of nowhere. We're leaving. We're leaving? Yes. Without you. I want you to leave. <laughs> get out of, get, get out, out of here. Get out of my country. Yeah. I don't know how to say it properly because I can't roll my R's. Riksgränsen. 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 That's like so much effort for me. That's literally all the effort I have R. to say it that R. way. R. 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 Oh, I have issue with that too. <laughs> it's... It just doesn't go. You try, it doesn't go. Do you like the view? The view is not bad. It's not too bad. Some cl there's some cliffs over there. It doesn't even work that close, Ross. Yeah, it does. It's no, it doesn't. Wide. Yeah, it's super wide. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is a great shot. You know nothing about cameras. <laughs> and I know nothing too. But all you do know is that it does not work Yeah, close. exactly. He's such a liar, it works amazing this close. It's the best shots right here. Mm. and tricks only. Just doing flips and shit. Um, shout out to the Sequin boys right here for uh, shooting everything for me and uh, maybe we'll do it again someday. I'm sure we will sooner or later. So uh, now I gotta go.